What do you think about my Pixar robot secretary? Today's tip isn't about girls. It is about how to organize your workflows so you can access them easily and be more efficient. And this is for those who don't have a secretary to organize everything for them. I am using the portable version of Comfy UI. So go to the Comfy UI folder, look for a folder called User, then go inside the default folder. Here you should have a folder called Workflows. If you don't have it, create one. Inside that folder, we organize all our workflows and folders to make them easy to find. I suggest naming those folders either by the main model used or naming them to represent the functionality of those workflows, like text to image, outpaint and in painting, or video workflows, something that makes sense for you. For example, I can create a folder called Pixaroma here, and if I put a workflow inside it, it will appear in Comfy UI. But if the folder is empty, it doesn't appear. So let's go to our main Comfy UI folder and start Comfy UI since any changes you make to those folders require restarting Comfy UI in order to discover them. Now in Comfy UI, you can press the key W or you can click on Workflows, and this sidebar will open with exactly the same workflows organized in folders, except the Pixaroma folder, which is empty. You can see a number next to each folder that represents the number of workflows each folder contains. If I click on the folder or the arrow, it will open that folder and show all the workflows inside. I keep editing this over time and leave only the workflows I currently use most often. You can resize the sidebar however you want. If you click on this icon, you can add it to bookmarks so you can favorite the ones you use most often and keep them on top. If you want to remove it, just click again on that bookmark icon. You can also search for a workflow, which is why it is important to have good names for your workflows so they are easy to find. To open a workflow, you just go to the one you want and click on it and it will open the workflow. Then you can click again on the workflows icon to collapse the sidebar. After that, you can run the workflow and have fun. I hope this helps you stay more organized. Here you have some extra options that let you rename, delete, or duplicate the workflow. You can also use the save as command to save it with a different name, like a copy with a different name. Now you see how it saved those outside the folders. If you just edit and save, it keeps them in the folder, but when you save as or change the name, it takes them out of the folders. If we click on the Comfy UI logo, we also have the option to export, and that lets you export anywhere on your computer, not only inside the Comfy UI folder. So let's say I put it in the empty Pixaroma folder. You can see it doesn't appear in Comfy UI, even if you refresh. You have to close Comfy UI and open it again in order to see those. Now it appears exactly where I saved the workflow. For those outside the folders that are not organized, if you try to organize them inside Comfy UI, it doesn't let you. You only have the options to delete and rename. So let's say I delete this one from here, and now when I go to the folder, you can see it is not there. I can move this one into the Outpaint folder, and maybe delete the Pixaroma folder. Then I have to restart Comfy UI and now everything is there nicely organized. If we go to File, we can open a workflow from anywhere on our hard disk, or you can just drag the workflow to the canvas. I have some saved in Dropbox for backup, so I can access them from any PC, but I have to open them individually. That is why if you use a workflow a lot, put it in the Workflows folder, so you have quick access to it. That is all for today. If you found something useful, leave a like and a comment to help me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you legends and everyone who subscribed to the membership. I wish you a great day and I will see you on Discord.